All right, just carrying on from where we left off, uh, I need to hook up um, this controller to uh, this uh, attribute. Um, I'm actually going to add two more attributes. So I'm going to select this controller and this controller. That way it does not both at the same time. And I'm going to do edit, and I'm going to add another attribute, and I'm going to call it knee twist. There's another one I forgot. Knee twist. Hopefully that's all of them. And then I'll hit OK, and it made knee twist. OK. So uh, here we go. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to go to Windows. Um, uh, ish. Hmm. Let's do the node editor. OK. So I'm going to select this and then I'm also going to select this for first foot join actually mm, we'll select this one and I'm gonna select uh, where are you uh, this one the no not that one sorry I grabbed the wrong one that's still the wrong one there we go so I grab the reverse foot joint number two and I grab the controller and I'm gonna hit this which will grab both of them okay it'll input output the connections. I'm going to zoom in and uh, I'm going to grab the foot controller and then I also need it should be the let me just see it's no, no, whoops, it should be number two yeah number two so I'm gonna grab number two joint here I'm gonna drag this down here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit E over here and you can see I click on this one it's the blue right so it's Z so I'm going to click on this to open this up and this gives you all the attributes I'm gonna click on this one to open this one up come on there we go and it gives me all my attributes so what I want to do is I want to connect from my toe roll because that's the toe I'm going to click on this and I want to drag that to the okay I got to expand um, my rotate I want to go to um, see those little pluses so I click on that to the rotate Z so I'm going to go here to here oops let's try that again here to here now you see how it kind of shot off the reason why is that it made this unit conversion um, I forgot about that. Uh, and basically now what's going to happen is, is that if you were to look at this node, you see how it's yellow? That means that there's a direct connection there. It means that this is spoken for. And the reason why is because I took my toe roll, this thing, and now that, whatever number's in here, is going to be driven in there. And you can see when I middle mouse button click and drag, I get my toe roll. Okay? And we're basically going to do the same thing for everything else. So I'm going to select this guy, and then I'm going to... Uh, select this guy and I'm gonna hit the input outputs again all right so I get my two um, things I got my number guy here reverse foot joint three and I need my nerve circle which is this one here okay so I got my controller here and my rear foot joint here I'm just gonna expand this okay now there's a there's multiple ways to do everything I'm showing you in some ways a, a more complicated way but I just want you to see how this works so I'm gonna go from um, and then we'll do it a different way next. Um, uh, where are you? I'm going to go. Oh, whoops. This is the wrong direction. That's why. So, oh, no, that's the right direction. All right. So why am I getting, where's my, v? oh, where are you? Hmm. It should be this and this. Let me hit input output again. Let's see. There's the foot controller. Okay. This foot controller. All right. Um, to this thing. Okay, good. Now we got it. All right. So I want to go from my uh, ball roll to the rotate Z. So um, ball roll, because I'm doing this. This is the ball roll. So I'm going to go boom and go to rotate Z. All right. And now you'll see when I go ball roll, it'll do that part, which is good. All right. And then we're going to select this now. And then I need the IK handle of this. Okay. So I got my IK handle one. And I'm going to hit. Uh, input output so that I get both of those items so I'm gonna pull this one up this is the controller and then I need to find where did it put the IK handle here it is IK handle one all right put this up here all right and I'm gonna expand this guy all right and what I want to do is I want to go from knee twist to twist and what that does is that there's a twist attribute on that that now this controls and it will uh, let's hit five so you can see Oops, five Five. Oh, because I have it templated. That explains it. Um, well, actually, we'll, not this one. We'll put a reference. Um, now, when I do my knee twist here, it'll twist the knee. Okay, so that's basically what that does. All right, so that's one way of doing it using the node editor. Um, the old school way of doing it, which actually I think is a little bit easier. Um, hit four to go back into wireframe. 
Yeah, I just use the connection editor. So I'm gonna select this, shift select the reverse foot joint. I got it here. And then I go Windows, General Editors, um, Connection Editor. And basically the idea is this, uh, it shows the foot controller on the left and it shows her first foot, foot joint on the right. And basically you see how it says from and to, that means it's gonna go from this and into this. So what I wanna do is I wanna go from my um, toe roll or is that the one I grabbed? I think, yeah. So yeah, number two, toe roll. And then I just wanna go over here and I'm gonna to go to rotate Z. So it's gonna go from toe roll to rotate Z. You just click on them and that's it. Now what I can do is I can select the next reverse foot joint and I'm just gonna go ahead and click reload right. And I'm gonna go this time from ball roll, okay? See how it's italicized? That means there's something that this has a connection to it, to rotate Z, all right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that IK handle. I'm going to hit reload right. I'm going to go from knee twist to find the twist. Uh, where are you? Twist. And close. And that's it. And now that one's connected as well. Okay, so um, it's a good idea that after you do these, though, just make sure you go wah, okay, wah, okay, and wah, okay. All right. So one of the things you may have noticed that's already kind of happening is that you get sometimes you get this weird, see how it flipped? right there, uh, sorry. See how it's like flipping um, and it's kind of yeah, right? Not real great. Uh, so what we need to do is we just need to add a pole vector. So to do that, um, you can make it out of anything really. Um, let's do, I'm gonna show you how to make like a controller here, okay? So uh, instead of just making a, a circle uh, or something like that, I'm gonna make a little square for my, um, or a little diamond for my pole vectors, okay? So I'm gonna switch to a front view and I'm gonna go to create curve tools, CV curve tool, and make sure it's on linear. All right. And it doesn't really matter the size. This one. Okay. So I'm gonna hold X for grid snap and I'll go boom, 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 boom. Okay. Which seems kind of weird. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a side view. Okay. And I'm gonna hit four so I can see. And I'm gonna hold X again and I go boom, 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 boom. Okay. And I'm gonna go one more because I need to go around this way. So I'm gonna go right here, even though it's kind of over. And then we'll go to top view. Where are you? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna hit F to frame. Back this up a little bit. And I'm gonna hold X and go boom, 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 boom. Uh, and then I'll enter. And basically what I just did, if I frame on it, is I made this little diamond, okay? Um, it's just because I drew on each one of the planes and I just made sure it went all the way around. So I got this nice little diamond I can use for a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna do modify um, center pivot. So it's in the center and I'm just gonna rename this one. Um, leg, actually we'll just call this um, controller underscore CRV, controller zero one, where I call it, okay? Um, that way I can use this again for some other stuff. So I'm actually gonna leave that one. I'm gonna um, scale it a little bit first like that we'll say like that and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna duplicate it command d w and i'm gonna um point snap it i'm gonna hold the v and middle mouse button waggle boom and i want to point snap it right to the knee joint right to the center of that knee okay and i'm just gonna rename it now and we're gonna call this um uh leg or hmm leg, leg whole ah, vector underscore L underscore CRV. Okay. Leg pull vector controller. Long name. Okay. Uh, we're going to call that good. And I'm going to duplicate it. Command D. I'm going to hold V and I'm just going to snap it right to the other one. And I'm just going to replace, take the one out at the end of that and replace this with an R. I'm going to select them both. And I am going to pull them straight forward like this. Generally you want to go a little bit past where the feet are. Okay. And then I'm going to do modify freeze transformations to get rid of um, all of these values. And then I am going to show you how to do another thing. So um, yeah, we'll just actually hook this up first. So to make it a pull vector, I'm going to, we're going to do this real quick too. We're going to go windows, um, hypergraph hierarchy, and what I want to do is I put the foot controllers into this group. If you remember earlier, I just want to make, I just want to add those. So I'm going to select both of these and the middle mouse button, click and drag underneath that. So now they're part of that group. That way, when I have this group, it's all the foot controller stuff. Okay. It's just a cleaner way of working. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, um, 
I'm just going to actually hook these. I'm going to close this out. Okay. Um, I'm going to hook these up to the pull vector here. So you select the, the pull vector controller. I'm going to hold shift, click on this IK handle. And I'm going to go to constraint, pull vector. Okay. Boom. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do same thing here. This one to this one. And I'll just hit G since this is the last thing I did. Boom. Okay. Now both of them are pull vectors. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to hit Command G and just call it like uh, leg pull vector underscore GRP. Um, and actually, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to select this and I'm just going to parent it to this foot. P and take this one to this one and P. Uh, that way, when this moves, it'll move the pull vector with it, so it's a little less of a problem. But basically, what this will allow you to do is that you can move this and it will move the knee. But it keeps it, theoretically, from um, being as likely to snap or act weird. Okay. Um, okay. So the other thing you might want to do, just because if you look, it's all kind of blue and ugly, is you could grab your controller. Okay. And if you go to the attribute editor, go underneath the shape node, not the transform, the shape node. Go to Object Display, Drawing Overrides. You can enable overrides, and then you can change the color here. So I'll just make this yellow, because that sticks out. Or yellow. And I'll select this one and do the same thing, Enable Overrides. Okay. Often people will make one side one color, one side a different color. I'm going to select this one, Enable Overrides, and I'll make this one red. We'll do it over here too. Um, and you can have some sort of color coding with this. I don't really have one particular right now, but, uh, and good. So now if you look, uh, you'll see that we have the um, legs uh, more or less rigged, okay? Which is good. So uh, I just want to check my time real quick, and then I'm either going to start a new video or, okay, we're at 12. Okay, so we're actually going to end. I'm going to end this video right here, um, and then start the next one where we will do um, the spine. Okay, uh, that's going to be kind of an annoying uh, thing to do. All right.